If I had to describe the Genesis's overall soundscape, it would be aggressive or crunchy. I thought it would be kind of fun to rate the 10 greatest Sega Genesis soundtracks and really showcase what the system had to offer. Now, keep in mind, this is just my opinion, just kidding. These are pure, undeniable facts, so don't at me. I do have a couple of rules for this countdown. For one, it has to be a Sega exclusive, so you're not going to see any games that were both on the SNES and the Genesis, so that means you're not going to see any Earthworm Jim or Battletoads and Double Dragon on this countdown. Also, I'm only going to include one game per franchise, so that means there's only going to be one Sonic game on this countdown. For example, spoiler alert, with each soundtrack I'll give my quick thoughts, and then I'll also give you one track that I highly recommend you listen to if you ever have the time from that game. All right, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the countdown, starting with number 10. Herzog's Vi is an underrated RTS game where you try to take over bases by deploying units and going all Transformers to zap the enemy. Now, good music can make or break an RTS, since you're going to be doing a lot of monotonous planning and unit moving. Luckily, this game has an excellent soundtrack. This soundtrack has a very quintessential Genesis feel. It's very crunchy, and it's very melodic. It has a very strong sense of energy and purpose that drives the game action along. It's a very strong soundtrack overall. I'd highly recommend checking it out if you ever have the time. The track I personally recommend for this game is Take It Easy. Number 9. Get it! Skitchin as a game is not the greatest. It's kind of a road rash wannabe where you race on skates and you can hitch on the back of cars and slingshot off of them to go faster. Where this game really shines is the soundtrack. It's very unique in that it used actual samples of an electric guitar, and because of that, what we get is a grungy soundscape with thick jamming guitar riffs and fitting song titles like Belly Button Lit or Cheese Grater. Give some of these tracks a listen if you ever have the chance. Some of these tunes are absolute bangers. I definitely recommend cranking up the volume with these ones, especially if you're in a car. The track I recommend for this game is called Eat My Junk. Number 8. Battle Mania Daijinjo is a pretty solid shooter with fun characters and, of course, a killer soundtrack. These are loaded tracks that perfectly complement the intense gameplay. The instrumentation is very solid, and it has a good variety for the type of game that it is. It's definitely the kind of soundtrack to get your blood pumping, and is definitely worth checking out. My recommended track for this game is Burning Heart. Number 7. I can definitely say that Gunstar Heroes is my number one favorite Sega Genesis game. It's side-scrolling platform shooting at its best on the Genesis. This game is just full of energy, it's fast-paced with explosions happening all over the place, there's four different weapon types that you can combine, and just, uh, it's so much fun. The soundtrack is no slouch, of course. It may not be the greatest soundtrack the Genesis has to offer, I mean it is sitting at number 7 on my list, but it is still amazing. The one word I could describe this soundtrack with is is frenetic. Norio Hanzawa definitely had some fun composing for this game. There's just a lot of crazy stuff going on in here. These tracks are just so much fun. The music really adds a lot of character to the various villains and stages. I, I definitely recommend checking this out. It's a unique experience. There's just a lot going on with these music tracks. The track I recommend for this game is Military on the Max Power. Number 6. Tell me you aren't pumped up after hearing that. The Lightning Force opening theme is like the Power Rangers theme song on steroids. It's a hyperactive, sugary cereal mix of pure Genesis energy that draws you in. As a game, it's a mediocre shooter in my opinion. Nothing all that special, but it's fun enough. 
The game has the most metal boss themes of any 16-bit game, period. They are pure energy and a rockin' badassery. Like Skitchin, this isn't the most varied soundtrack. You could easily swap some of these tracks for others and not really tell the difference between them thematically, but what we do have is incredibly good and a lot of fun to listen to. The track I recommend from this game is Attack Sharply, aka the second boss theme. Number 5 This was a hard one, because I really like the soundtrack to the original Streets of Rage. It has a killer opening, and the boss music is phenomenal. However, I definitely had to give the edge to the sequel for having a much more fleshed out and stronger soundtrack. Also, Streets of Rage 2 has some tracks that are essentially remixes of tracks from the original, so bonus points there. Right from the get-go, the first track sets the tone for a rockin' sock of punching in good time. This is a very consistently good soundtrack. Uh, some of the other games I've listed on this count of might have had a couple not so good tracks, uh, maybe an unused or bonus track that wasn't very good, but with Streets of Rage 2, pretty much every single track is good. Um, you're gonna get just really good music all across the board, and there's definitely a few bangers in there as well. The track I recommend you listen to from this game is SOR Supermix. Number 4. Although the first Toe Jam and Earl was probably the better game, and it also had an amazing soundtrack which really set the tone for the rest of the series, in my opinion, the sequel had a much more fleshed out soundtrack. Toe Jam and Earl is a unique soundtrack on this list. It's not full of heart pumping tunes or rockin' country beats. It's much more laid back and, dare I say, funky. This soundtrack rips. It's an absolute blast to listen to and just gives off good vibes in general. This soundtrack is a lot more of a chill experience compared to the other soundtracks on this list. I highly recommend checking out the Sega Tunes version of this soundtrack um, if you want to hear live instruments and jazz riffs based on this music. And it was done by the original composer himself, which is really awesome. If you're looking for some funk grooves to bop your head to, this soundtrack is your jam. The track I recommend listening from this game is called Luanda's Love. Number 3 This soundtrack absolutely shreds. This soundtrack has some of the best instrumentation on the Genesis, or just retro video games in general. It's got a variety of awesome leads and sounds that make for an exhilarating landscape. The game itself is a pretty solid platform shooter that keeps you on your toes constantly, and the music matches the tone of the game excellently. Konami wasn't messing around with this game's music, and the composers were very talented and delivered some absolutely fantastic high energy tracks. This is a soundtrack that is perfect for blasting in your car with the bass cranked way up. Highly recommended. The track that I recommend you listen to from this game is Jurassic Dope. Number 2 Pugsy is an obscure and very underrated puzzle game. As a game, Pugsy is alright. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 for the gameplay. It's a puzzle game, so you're going to be spending a lot of time futzing around and listening to the same music over and over again, so that music had better be good. And luckily, the music in Pugsy is very, very good. Matt Furness created some real gems in this soundtrack, and it's a shame that some of these will fall into obscurity because of the game that they were attached to. The biggest strength that this soundtrack has is that each track matches up with the tone of the level incredibly well. There's a lot of different levels, and that means there's a lot of different tracks, and almost all of them are so good. You got a pyramid level? Here's some music for that. Need some creepy castle music? Bam! 
What about a level where creepy raccoon people stroll around town with vacant stairs? We got you covered. And finally, what about a level where you just want to chill in the forest? Of all the soundtracks on this list, this is the one I'd recommend you check out the most, especially if you've never even heard of Pugsy. It deserves some love. The track I recommend from this game is called The Cove. Number 1 You've probably guessed by now that the number one soundtrack on this list is from a Sonic game, and you'd be right. But which one is it? The original? The sequel? The super sequel with Knuckles? Sonic Spinball? Well, the answer to that is gonna be in my next video, where I compare the music from the Genesis Sonic games to find out which one has the superior soundtrack, so be sure to check that video out when it shows up. So that's it for my countdown. If you like this video or you have some gripes slash concerns about the list, be sure to leave a comment here and there, and uh, be sure to smash that like button or whatever you do these days. Peace!